Hey guys, in this video I will be introducing a CAD software called Onshape, computer aided drafting. Onshape is a browser based software which means it is a website. You can access your files on Onshape anywhere in the world that you have internet or Wi-Fi. There is a free version of Onshape which is what I'm using but you cannot use it for commercial use and you can only create public documents nothing private but you can purchase the full version if you want that capability so here's the program itself I'll give you a quick layout of it the top bar here has all of your tools this bar changes depending on what mode you're in, if you're in sketch or 3D mode, or assembly mode. On the left we have the part tree. Once we start creating parts, they'll show up here. On the bottom we have all of our different files. Uh, default, you'll have one assembly and one part, and you can create more down here. Here's the main workspace. You can pan using the middle mouse button or scroll the middle mouse button to zoom and you can rotate with the right mouse button. You can also view different faces or edges or corners by clicking on this cube up here and rotating it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, show you how to make a simple part in Onshape. The first thing you need to do for every part is create a sketch. That's the first option over here. In order to create a sketch, you have to tell it where the sketch needs to go. I'm going to do it on the top panel, or on the top plane. And clicking on the top of this cube here will view the sketch directly on top of it. So now we have our sketch and we are ready to start drawing. So now that we're in our sketch we have a different toolbar here at the top. The main things we'll be using for now will be the line tool, the rectangle tool, the circle tool, and the dimension tool. These are the main tools for drafting simple objects. So first I'm going to use the rectangle tool and click on two points which will give us a rectangle. You'll notice that the rectangle is blue which means it's not defined. You can move it around and it doesn't have any set dimension. In order to add dimension we are going to use the dimension tool. If you click on that and on one of the sides it will give you some extension lines and when you click to place it, you can also type in your dimension. And if we define both sides here, you'll notice that now these lines are black, which means it's fully defined. If you try to move this around, it won't move, which is what we want. The sketch can't move. So now that the sketch is complete, we can press the check mark next to sketch and you'll notice that on the left in the part tree we have a sketch now. We can use that sketch for a 3D operation. We'll be using the extrude. In order to extrude you have to select an object in your sketch. We only have one here, so we're going to select that, and it extrudes this two-dimensional shape up into a three-dimensional shape. So we can set the depth we want to extrude, any height. I'm just going to make it one inch, and now we have a block. It's one inch high, you can see down here it'll give you the length. 2 inches wide and 3 inches 
in the other direction. And you can see that that's exactly what we gave it in the sketch and in the extrude. So that's how to make a very simple part in Onshape. If you wanted to add other features, you could add more sketches or use some of these other operations. So if you wanted to add a hole, there's a couple different ways you could do that. One way would be to open up your sketch, your first sketch again, and use the circle tool to put a circle somewhere, and then use the dimension tool, click on the, the circumference of it, and it will ask you for the diameter. And we can dimension the center to the edge distance on both sides. So now the circle is black. So that means it's fully defined. It won't move around. So we're ready to extrude again. So it's using the same extrude that we had before. And actually, if we double click on it, we can edit the extrude. If we unselect what we had before, now we can choose what part we want to extrude. If we select just the circle, it'll extrude just the circle. And if we extrude just this outside, that's all it will extrude. Or we can do both. And now we have a solid part again. And now there's a hole in it. That's one way you can make a hole in your part. Another way, if we delete this, we're back to our solid part, we could make a new sketch and we can either put it on one of these planes or we can put it on a face on our part. I'm going to put it on the top face of this part and view it from the top and we can create a sketch and a circle. Um, you can see right now the circle isn't defined, we can move it around so we will need to dimension it So now the circle's defined, and we can go ahead and use another operation. Since we have a second sketch here, we're going to use a second operation. So again, we're going to extrude, select what we want to extrude. We're going to extrude this circle here, but instead of making it go up, we're going to reverse the direction so it goes down, and rather than adding material, we want to remove material. So we can either set the depth to one inch or tell it to go all the way through your part. Now we have a hole in the part and if we wanted to center it, we could just reopen this sketch here, change one of the dimensions and accept the sketch and automatically updates to this part. So those are some of the basic tools in Onshape to create parts with. As you can see, there are many more, and I'll show you how to use those later. But for now, I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.